All right, we're gonna talk about front axle lift on the GT3 RSs. If you're expecting to be entertained, you're not going to be, but if you have experience with or are considering buying a 997 GT3 RS and you've heard about the foul fails, you might wanna to listen to this. So the front axle lift is a nice option to have, especially if you live in California or have a steep driveway or whatever, but it's notorious for being problematic, having system failures, and it's a very expensive system to replace. However, there's a myth about the failures. Most people think that it's the entire system or the pumps that go bad. Now, I'm not saying that they don't, but what we've seen actually is every one that we've seen replaced under warranty or by the Porsche dealer, they've replaced the entire system. I don't know if that's because they're too lazy to diagnose it or because they get reimbursed for warranty repair, so it's not worth them to diagnose what's wrong with it. But every repair we've seen out of warranty or at, at, a, at an independent has been either a relay or a pressure switch because the failures don't occur when the car goes up. So this one actually is up right now. It occurs when they are up and they don't recognize that they're up. So I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about here. <clears throat> When the car is in the full up position, you'll see this word lift in the gauge cluster. Now that's how it knows that it's up and you can't put it down until it knows that it's all the way up. You also can't put it down with the door open. So I gotta close the door. There you go, it goes down. Now what happens at least every time we've seen one fail is when we put it up, it goes up, but it doesn't know that it's all the way there. And so that word lift never displays and you can't put it down manually. It'll still go down when you hit 25 miles an hour, but it won't go down manually. I think we've replaced five different pressure switches and that has fixed it. And I think the sixth one was a bad relay. So out of all the ones that we've replaced or had to diagnose that were not under warranty, they were all very inexpensive fixes. The pressure switch is about $300. There's two different ones that it could be. Uh, I think the most expensive non-warranty fix we've had on a front axle lift system was $1,000. However, the full system is I think about seven grand. And the ironic thing about all this is this car was under CPO and under CPO, it actually had the foul system replaced twice in a short period of time because a Porsche dealer didn't diagnose it. Even with the new one, we got this car in, and when we got it, it did not go, or I'm sorry, it went up, but it did not recognize it was up. So one would think, I guess if we took it to the Porsche dealer, they'd wanna replace it again, but instead of replacing it for a third time, we simply replaced the pressure switch, and presto changeo, it works beautifully. So if you're shopping for a GT3 RS and you have questions about the, the, the foul failures, Nine times out of 10, it's likely a fairly simple fix, but you gotta find somebody to diagnose it properly.